Hello everybody and welcome to the Battle Brothers Council, the series where we share information and thoughts on the upcoming DLC Beasts and Exploration. In today's episode we focus on the new enemy the Hex, or Hexy, I honestly have no clue how to pronounce that, but forgive me, I'm, I'm not a native speaker. But what I do know is that it's some sort of a witch. So let's start by reading the dev blog itself. So it says, the Hex is a witch inspired by Grimm's fairy tales, a malevolent old crone living in a swamp uh, and forests outside of the villages alone or in a coven with other Hex. And now that alone gives us a clue about the upcoming enemies in general, I believe. The enemies of Battle Brothers are usually in every sort of surface. Uh, the Greenskins looks like they prefer plains, at least for their settlements. Um, and the Lindworm looks like it fancies the, the swamp and uh, the forest maybe, but I, honestly I've seen so many creatures in so many places, I, I never felt like they, they would be more often found in this area or that area. The Greenskins seem to love the plains. Um, that's that's all what I've got for, for their towns at least. Um, the introduction of the Hex, however, specifically states that the witch will be in a swamp or a forest. Um, now remember this because later we'll cover that a little bit furthermore, but let's first jump to the end of the announcement itself. It says, with her sorcery, a hex can throw wild beasts and even warp the mind of humans and so will often be found in the company of creatures that serve her. Again, crucial information. Fighting hexen will only include these old hags and maybe some white creatures, possibly like wolf or some new some of the new enemies. Um, this is further backed by the devs themselves, as I asked them what happens if a, a necromancer is involved, as we will soon cover the the abilities of the hacks. And I had some concerns, but the devs, uh, as usual, replied quickly and they said they won't be on the same side, the hexen will stay with the beasts. So that confirms that even though the Hex is a magic user, she is a completely different cult member than the Necromancer. Don't worry though, they are all the same in Dark Goose Eyes. Um, so she is a magic user, which is a bit of a controversial topic in this conversation about this game, I feel, because from what I've seen, many people wanted to have the option to recreate a ne Necromancer or... or or just pay him for, for one huge fight to animate zombies for our advantage. The devs, however, stood firmly and they told us many, many moons ago it will never happen. Um, think what you want to think, <laughs> I guess. Uh, various enemies use magic, not just the necromancers. Personally, I don't mind this. Um, I don't feel like it's unfair. I, I think it's a cool way of challenging ourselves but let me know what you think about magic users in this game do you feel it's fair do you feel it's unfair let me know in the comment section anyhow in the meantime um this is out of the way let's see what the hexen do to mess with you now these old witches are really interesting to me because they they use your man's re resolve which is a common thing in this game however usually your men get frightened from huge orcs, battle roars, ghosts scaring the shit out of them, necrosavants, which are just basically your worst nightmares in every case and every scenario. However, the witch uses your resolve to mess with your head. Um, let's again jump into what uh, the hacks can, can do in a combat. They have two skills, uh, the first one is called Charm, uh, and it works like this. From her shriveled lips, the crone blows one of your men a seductive kiss, you perf. Uh, to bewitch their mind, a strong-willed individual can resist with a success successful resolve check, but otherwise, you're fucked. Uh, <laughs> now, what this does, um, it's further detailed, basically, 
your brother falls in love with the witch, they don't see this old puke of garbage of a remaining of a human body and they see a young beautiful lady and they fall in love and basically they just do whatever the fuck the witch wants which means you lose control of your brother and that specific character will fight you now i don't even need to express the annoyance of losing a brother this way um they will throw their bodies in in the way uh it, it's it's a massive problem in a battle Let's focus on the second skill for now and then I will give you my opinion. Even though the Hex is an old, fragile character, she has no melee attack and in fact no zone of control. However, her second skill is also a spell, it's called Hex, how ironic, and can be cast on one enemy at a time, anyone that has a, a hex cast on them is cursed to feel the same pain and receive the same wounds as the hex does. Now this is again a huge huge problem and a disadvantage against these witches. So basically they have these two moves on the battlefield, one of them is just controlling your unit and the other one is uh, basically receiving the same amount of damage and wounds as uh, the witch does. So that's also a pretty problematic thing. Uh, they don't mention the resolve thing for the second uh, skill, so I'm not sure if there's any way of stopping that. I don't think so. So basically this witch is an interesting character because it doesn't inflict damage on your man directly. However, it turns your own man against you and I must say I, I, li I like this, uh, not in a way like, oh man, I can't wait to lose my brothers to this bullshit, but I like that it's using what the game already has and still it's a new unique way of using resolve against you. I think it's a cool idea, I think it's new, so I don't feel like, oh, it's just a goblin with this or that. No, it's it's very new. Um, I don't know if I like the fact that they ha they do not have a zone of control because this allows them to just run run around and cast spells like maniac. I feel like that could be a problem, especially. And let's jump back into the fact that they will be in a forest area or in the swamp in which you are slower and build up much more fatigue to fight these old bitches. So that's gonna be a huge issue to fight Haxen in the swamp, not to mention if they bring some fucking wild beast which will maul your man into pieces. So looks like it's gonna be very difficult, but very different. So all in all, I feel like it's, it's a good addition. It fits perfectly well into the theme of the game. Um, the devs mentioned to possibly use nets, so when uh, when your brothers fall in love with the witch, you can just throw nets on them so they, they cannot move, they cannot actually hurt you or themselves for that turn or however long the spell is. Um, so that might be useful, basically if... You, if your man goes nuts, use nets. Uh, it's probably what the theme will be. Um, maces might be good to stun them for the same effect, but they also could potentially hurt them, so I don't feel it's such a safe option. I'm thinking of tricking the game in a way that, like, when you hire a man just to have enough bodies, you know, so they, they would die like a human shield. What if I bring a character with low resolve and specifically, like, I don't give them anything? No weapons, uh, no armor, no nothing. Um, surely the, the witch goes for them because they would have the lowest resolve. But is it beneficial to cheat the game this way? I am not sure, but it looks like we're gonna need tons of resolve against these Haxen. 
So all in all, I feel like it's a cool idea. It fits perfectly into the game. Very new mechanics. I like it. Um, I can't wait to lose my cool against these old witches. Uh, and I guess this is your time to shine now as I finish this video. Let me know what you think about the Hexen, how you plan on stopping them. And until next time, as brothers we go, take care.